the attorney. What is your advice on that uh, time thing, John? Uh, you would you would like to do it? Uh, I would believe so, Mr. President. Otherwise, we will look a little foolish in not <laughs> following through on our legal obligations. And uh, has this ever been done before? Uh, publication like this, or no, no, no. Have you, have, have, has the government ever done this to a paper before? Oh yes, advising of their. Oh yes, we've done this before. Have we? All right. Yes, sir. Uh, I would think that. How, how do you go about it? You do it sort of low key. Low key. You call them and then uh, send a telegram to confirm it. Mm -hmm. And say that we're just uh, we're examining the situation, and we just simply are putting you on notice. Well, we're putting them on notice that they're violating a statute because yeah. we have a communication from yeah. Mel Laird as to the nature of the documents, right. and they fall within right. the statute. Now, right. I don't know whether you've been noticed it, but this thing was uh, Mel was working. Henry Henry's on the other. I just he just walked in. I'll put him on the other line. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Mel uh, had a pretty good go up there before the committee today on it, and it's all over town and all over everything, and I think we'd look a little silly if we just didn't take this low-key action of advising them about the publication. Did Mel take a fairly uh, hard line on it? Uh, yes, he <laughs> gave a legal opinion, and it was a violation of the law, which of well. course puts us up. Yeah, well, we have to get. Well, look, to look. As far as the Times is concerned, hell, they're our enemies. I think we just ought to do it. And anyway, uh, Henry, tell them what you just heard from Rostov. Well, Rostov called on behalf of Johnson, <laughs> and he said that it is Johnson's strong view that this is an attack on the whole integrity of government. That if you, that if whole, ca uh, whole file cabinets can be stolen and then made available to the press, uh, you can't have orderly government anymore. Well, and I he said if the president defends the integrity, any action we take, he will back publicly. Well, uh, I, I think that we should take this, uh, do some uh, undercover investigation, and then open it up after your McGovern Hatfield. Yeah. Uh, we've got some information we've developed as to where these copies are and who they're likely to... Uh, have leaked them, and the prime suspect, according to your friend Rostow, you're quoting, is a gentleman by the name of Ellsberg, who yeah. is a left winger that's now with the Rand Corporation, who also have a set of these documents. Yeah. So. Uh, Subpoena them, Christ, get them. Uh, so I would, I would think that we should advise the Times. We will start our covert check, uh, and after McGovern Hatfield, just open it up. Right. Go ahead. Does that, does that agree with you? Yep. All right, sir, will do. Yeah. Right.